What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcut Media bringing you another Dokkan battle video today. So in today's video, I want to let you guys know that all seven Namekian Dragon Balls for the first set of Purunga Wishes are now available to be collected on Global. Now there seems to have been a lot of confusion in my previous video from about a week ago where I went through how to get all 21 Purunga Dragon Balls on Global with people calling me a liar because they couldn't find a specific ball and 99% of the time it was because that ball hadn't been released in the game yet. Just to be clear guys, I said in the video that July 7th was the first day you could collect the first Namekian Dragon Ball which is set one, ball one and then from that day on you can collect one additional new ball every single day. If you miss balls in between, you can collect them retroactively but if they hadn't been released yet you can't collect them. So today, at the time of this filming, you can get set one, ball seven, and then set two, ball one is available tomorrow, set two, ball two the day after, and so on and so forth. Now that we got that out of the way, if you are still confused or have any questions, just leave them down in the comments below, and I will try my best to help you. So what we're gonna do now is actually go through how to get each Namekian Dragon Ball for the first set of wishes in game. As you can see, I'm using a fresh rerolled account because my main account already got all the Dragon Balls for the first set, so I can't really show you there. But uh, this account, all I did was do the summons, and as you can see, got pretty lucky. Pulled this guy, second multi, got a dupe for the third multi, so uh, beginner's luck is totally a thing, guys. Anyone that doubts it is lying to themselves. Beginner's luck is 100% a thing. They turn up the race for you in the beginning, or I don't know, they do something, because I seem to always get super lucky in the beginning versus my main account. But that's just me. Maybe you guys have a different opinion. Anyways, we're going to go <laughs> into the new section now and take a quick look at the... The clues, they will give you the previous clues that you guys missed if you didn't get them daily. And uh, you can see them all here at the bottom of the screen here. So daily training is crucial to get stronger. That's all you have to do is uh, train a character. So let's say I want to train my LR Gogeta and just give him... Um, oh, I can't even... Oh, that, oh, that's fine. Okay, we'll do this. There we go. So this guy's going to get trained up, go to like level 10 or 20 or whatever it is. Boom. And that's done. We got our... First Dragon Ball. It's a Purunga Dragon Ball. One star ball required. So that's that. Now let's go to the next ball. News. Um, I probably should have made a list somewhere, but I'm just going to go go like this because a lot of you are probably going to do the same thing. Ball 2 is find the button for switching between quests and events on the home screen. So that's pretty cut and dry. They just tell you exactly what to do. So just click this over like, well many times, just switch back and forth between event and quest like three times and you'll get the second Dragon Ball. So that's easy, boom. All right, so now we're on the third Dragon Ball. And I believe this one is the Kid Gohan one. I'm just gonna check real quick to make sure. Yeah, so battle alongside the little warrior who saved Dende from Dodoria, which a lot of you guys know is Kid Gohan. So just throw any Kid Gohan character onto your team and run a quest stage and you should be just fine. Let's see, uh, I believe I have a couple from summons. Here we go. So this one, this Kid Gohan per works perfectly. Gohan Kid, he's a very common summon uh, from you know any banner. I believe there's some other ones I have here as well. This Kid Gohan too, too. I also pulled this one from the Gogeta banner I believe. So he works too if you got him. And basically any character with a Gohan bracket kid bracket name will work for this Dragon Ball. So let's just make a team real quick. Oh look, he's already there. So I'm going to go run into a quest stage real quick. I, like I said, didn't do anything on this, uh, on this account. So uh, let's, let's go with Krillin. Doesn't really matter. I didn't do anything on this account. So everything is completely fresh. We're going to run through the first stage. It's going to take a second. And then once we're done that, we should be able to get the Dragon Ball. By the way, the free-to-play STR uh, Kid Gohan that we get from the new Namek event also works just fine. So if you guys didn't happen to pull any of the SR Gohans I was talking about or the SSR Gohan, then that one will also work. Why did I even choose five? I don't need any Baba items on this on this account. Okay, uh, let's go four, and we're gonna beat the crap out of Killa. And we're gonna get the hell out of here and get move on to the next ball. So if you guys want to skip ahead like 30 seconds real quick, then you can get past this part and move on to the next one. Um, we're getting supers off too. Wow. Okay, it's, it's like a force of habit, you know. Like I, I'm trying my best to just make it efficient. I didn't have to get a super off, but it's just a force of habit where I try my best to like get everyone supers off no matter what. You guys ever do that where you're fighting a really really weak enemy? And you literally don't have to get supers off for everyone because you know your first character is going to take out the enemy 
with like the ease, right? But you're just so you're so like OCD or like so used to getting supers off that you still perfectly align the orbs so that everyone can get the supers off. It's it's stupid. But anyways, here we go. We got the third Dragon Ball. Only four more to go for that uh, sweet set of wishes, and we got to rank two, rank th oh god, rank rank three. Okay, I, I, I was like, how long is it gonna go for? That's that would have been really annoying. Okay, so. I'm not gonna add you as a friend name, sorry. You're a cool guy, but <laughs> not for today's video. Uh, let's see. Next one is, if it will ever load, here we go. Move down, let's see. Is it possible to be friends with yourself? So someone said on the Dokkan subreddit, this actually sounds like something that Jaden Smith would tweet on his Twitter. Well, yeah, obviously tweet Twitter. Anyways, forget that part, but basically it sounds like something Jaden Smith would tweet and if you guys don't know about Jaden Smith's Twitter account, I recommend you go check it out because it's freaking hilarious and he, this totally sounds like something he would tweet. <laughs> Anyways, uh, for that one, you all you have to do is go to your friends, uh, friend search and type in your own ID. So it tells you your ID right here, just type it in 315 for me, 1657423, uh, boom, search yourself. And you'll find yourself, and then you click OK, and it says you cannot befriend yourself. Uh, and then there you go, you got your fourth star Dragon Ball, or four star Dragon Ball. Cannot befriend yourself, I got it, I can't be friends with myself. OK, <laughs> three more to go, that's four. Three more to go, guys. We're almost there, moving right along. Uh, the, scouters, uh, the scouter had an abnormal reaction. Wow, that actually isn't hard to read, I'm just... Yeah, English is just hard for me, guys. Um, so what I have to do is go to summons, click scouter on any any banner. I just chose this banner, but this banner is probably not available to most of you. So just click any banner, click the scouter, and you get that Dragon Ball. You got two more to go now. News, and I believe I already saw the last two, but I'm just gonna make sure that I am completely accurate so I don't make any mistakes here. Um, the second last one is where can you find lots of Awakening Medals? So that's actually an Awakening Medal stage. Go to event and any of the types for this event will work just fine so get awakening medals any type will work let's say i want to do physical doesn't really matter difficulty doesn't matter either so i'll do normal i'll pick this trunks sure why not and you just run through it quickly you can collect the medals along the way if you really want to but oh man it's a long stage okay you know what i'm gonna skip ahead and uh, <laughs> i'm gonna skip ahead and not put you guys through this torture because I'm gonna try to get through this as quickly as possible But there's no point of you watching me because you guys know how to get through this So I'm gonna skip ahead and uh, cut and you guys will see me in a second got to the final fight now. We're almost there All right, let's take care of these guys real quick. I don't think we Need to get the supers off to beat them. I at least I hope not Because um, I didn't so <laughs> let's see what happens. Oh Yeah, okay. We're fine. We're fine. Oh <laughs> Come on, Janemba, are you serious? Janemba could not take out a physical type as a strength type. Wow, okay. This is why no one wants you, man. <laughs> I'm kidding, Janemba's great. It's, he's level 1, obviously, or something like that. So, I'm gonna make some excuses for him and just let him off the hook this time. Here we go, we finished the stage and we got our Dragon Ball. Six star Dragon Ball acquired. And the last one is super, super simple. Okay, so here's the thing. The last one, Ball Set 1, Ball 7, which is the one we're about to get, actually got changed up a little bit from what the data mining information told me. And the data mining information I used in my original video was actually for global. The, the information was mined from the global database, but I guess, you know, sometimes things are changed even from the information that's actually from this version of the game. So um, I apologize for that, guys. It's, it's still very similar. Originally, I said that you have to go down, sc scroll through these banners and find the one that has a question mark, but Apparently that's not a thing anymore. They took out the question mark from JP and they just added this banner here. So Peru go Dragon Ball campaign, click that, and you got your Dragon Ball. So <laughs> there you go guys. Seventh Dragon Ball acquired. We got all seven balls done. And now we can summon Perunga for some sweet wishes. So here we go. Um how to collect the balls and everything. Okay, sure. Summon. Get some Namekian language, got this cool animation, and Perunga's about to pop up and grant our wishes. That's a nice animation actually, like it's actually very clear and I mean I guess they, they, they've upped their game since the game was first released with Shenron, but that, that looks really nice. Uh, you who possess a wish, Dragon Balls, make your wish here. So there are seven wishes, 
I want to activate hidden potential where you get 10,000 potential orbs spread between the, the five types. Um, power up super attacks is three grand kais of each type. I want treasures is 777 um, incredible gems. I want to be filthy rich is a bunch of Hercule statues, I believe about 40 million zenny worth. Uh, I want to awaken allies is a ton of awakening medals. This is a lot of support items and this is a lot of training items. So what I would pick is hidden potential, uh, potential orbs for the uh, yeah super attacks for the Kai's. Our Kai's with, for the super attacks rather. And the last one I would go with is probably, it's really up to you. I, uh, I You can't really go wrong with incredible gem or no, don't go with that one. That's Zenny, don't go with Zenny. Uh, incredible gems is a good choice, but um, you can also go with training items, support items. They're also, oh no, uh, not support items. Mm, eh, uh. <laughs> it's kind of hard to say because it really depends on what you need, right? Here's my, here's my recommendation. Hidden potential, super attack, and training items. The training items you get are really, really good. There's 50 shells of each type, as well as a lot of Z-Swords and all that good stuff. Also 30 gravity chambers, but it's, it's totally up to you. Okay. Um, Incredible Gems is also a good choice, obviously. Awakening Metal is also a good choice. Bunch of potential orbs. You created Grand Kai on your team and you received a bunch of training items. Awesome. So there we go, guys. We got our first set of Perungo Dragon Balls. Starting from tomorrow, you can start collecting balls for the second set of wishes. And like I said, it's one new ball per day. If you miss ones in between, you can go back and get the, the old ones. But if a ball hasn't been released yet, then you won't be able to get it. So please, stop commenting that I'm a liar, because I'm not. <laughs> Everything I'm telling you is legit. And uh, sometimes there are changes, like the, the seventh one was changed slightly, and I will let you guys know in the pinned comments on that video, so make sure you go check that regularly if something is wrong. Otherwise, uh, that's all there is to it, guys. Let me see. So yeah, let me see. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50 of each of the Platinum Turtle Shells, 100 of each of the Z-Swords, 30 uh, training or gravity chambers, and then we got 50 of these training locations. And then uh, for the Grand Kai's, three of each. And the orbs, you get a crap ton, like a crap, crap ton. So um, definitely, in my opinion, those are the best choices. But like I said, it's totally up to you and what you need. Hope you guys found this video useful. If you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, uh, brand new to my channel, and you like what you see, then consider hitting that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. As always, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.